All right, this is going to be a uh, quick how I did it tutorial uh, for the twit you bought that is available on the website for download. I'm just going to walk through building this this bot and how I did it. So uh, let's see, we'll get started here. So first, we're going to create the user interface elements. I will start out with username, and we'll make that into variable username. And you can see the pound sign means that it's going to be a variable we can use later in the script. We'll also throw in password, and we'll apply that to password, and then we'll put a frequency for how often we want to post to, so we'll say how often, minutes, and then we'll label that post frequency. And one last option we're going to give it here is a whether or not somebody would want to randomize, and that's the UI checkbox. So we'll just call that randomize. And we'll call it randomize. And that's going to be whether or not the checkbox is selected will give randomize either true or false value. So if it's selected, it'll. Uh, that variable will be true, and if it's unchecked, it'll be false. Okay, now we will uh, go ahead and throw an if statement in here. So we can go to flow, and we'll take the if statement, drag that over here, and our qualifier placeholder is going to be, uh, well, first let's go to Twitter. And on Twitter, we're going to look to see if we're already logged in or not. And you can see right now we're not logged in. So we'll go ahead and log in here. And I've already created a uh, username and password. So it's what you bought, and I'll put the password in. And I'll sign in. Oh, I think I forgot the password. Okay, I've got that taken care of. Uh, just still had to reconfirm the email. Uh, so now you can see the home page is loaded. So what we're going to do to see if we're already logged in is we'll right click and we'll say choose by attribute. And this one will take the uh, ID screen name. And we'll drag that put it on there. Delete that. Now we have a uh, so if this uh, screen name is available in the attribute ID, then this will evaluate to true. So then we're going to tell it to then uh, we'll put click chosen. So the chosen commands, click chosen. And then we will, so then it's going to cause it to drop down. And then we can right click choose by attribute enter text sign out and that's going to be an exact match so it'll find that one there and then we can click chosen on that and that will have a signed out of Twitter so the reason you'd want to do this is if you change the username uh, then each time you run this it's going to go ahead and just log out whoever was last logged in and, uh, and then it'll log you in again so then we're going to put a uh, let's see a flow command and we'll put wait until it's finished loading for the next once you click that sign out it's going to wait finish so once the page is done loading now we can go ahead and try logging it in again and we'll say so now we're going to need it to navigate to the main page of Twitter so we'll say action navigate and we'll just go to the main page and we can even execute this node so we'll run node it'll take us to the main page of Twitter and here's where we can log in now so now we can just drag username over to here and enter text this is the variable that we chose earlier for username so whatever's entered in that box there uh, under username it's going to show up in here because we put variable username so you can see fill field 
username. And then we'll do the same with the password. Make sure you can see this. Insert variable password. Okay. And then we need to choose the sign in button. Choose by attribute. We'll take enter text sign in. And then click chosen. Again, I'll uh, go ahead and click on the button for us after it has filled in the username and password. And then we'll do another wait finish for the page to load. And that will take us to the home page of the user that we have entered up in here. So I'm also going to put a uh, short pause in here. Sometimes it helps because uh, Twitter. Twitter sometimes it uses JavaScript and Ajax to load the page, so sometimes I just put a, a short pause in there to help delay. You could also check for some, uh, you know, to see if something appeared on the screen. Uh, wait for a certain something to to appear in the JavaScript, and then uh, you can do a while a while loop to check. So if you're not logged in, so say it doesn't find uh, the sign out button from the previous one then that means uh, you're either not at Twitter or you're not logged in. So next we can say navigate. Again that's going to be Twitter and then yes wait load and and then once that does load then we just do the same thing. So I'll show copy and paste here. So we can say fill filled username copy and I'm just using the keyboard shortcut control V paste fill filled. Oops that should have been down here. Drag it down. So that was username, and we'll control C to copy. Click down here, control V to paste. Click chosen, copy, paste. We finish, copy, paste. And then a short delay again, paste. All right, so that has us logged in to Twitter. Now we need to go ahead and create our tweets. Uh, and we can do that by coming down here and saying add to list. Uh, so let's see, variable commands, add to list. Oops, I did that in the wrong place. It's going to be on here. Variable commands, add to list. And then we'll say enter a list. We're going to start a new one. We'll call it tweets. Our content's going to be list from a file. And it's going to ask, I'm going to go ahead and hard code this one. Just because when you're using the UBOT Studio, uh, not running as an executable uh, application folder, wants to pull it from the actual program folder for UBOT instead of the where you actually save the UBOT at. So I'm just going to go ahead and browse. And we'll go to our D drive. Twitter, and I have a tweets.txt file already set up in there. Uh, I'll show that to you here in just a second. You can delete duplicates if you want. I usually say no. Just manually make sure it's set up right. So here's my tweets.txt file. And you can see just for demonstration, it's first tweet, second tweet, third tweet, fourth tweet. If you if you try to tweet something identical, Twitter will uh, tell you that you've already tweeted it and not let you do that. So that's the file that we're going to be loading here. And uh, you'll see more of that here in a second. So that loads the file and puts all of our tweets into a list uh, called tweets. And you can see that's noted by the percent sign there and that tells it that that's a list. So now we're going to go into a loop. So we use the loop command. And for cycles, we'll say uh, list total. So you can go down to variable constants, list total, and then say how many, how many tweets were added in there from the file. So if there's 10 tweets, you know, that's going to turn into 10 cycles for the loop. So we got that set. Now we're going to uh, tell it to navigate to the main page of Twitter. So we just copy that one from up here. Copy. Click and paste. Control V. And then we can say, we'll go ahead and execute that node. 
Actually, let's go ahead and uh, let's be a good time to log in. So we'll say twit you bought. This is just a screen name I made up for this demo. And then password is my password. Of course, I'll have to change that. Uh, we'll leave that blank for now and randomize doesn't matter for now. And we'll go ahead and execute the program. So it sees it wasn't logged in, so it's navigating to Twitter, and then it's going to fill in the username and password. You might be able to see that. Okay, uh, looks like there was a little error there. Um, looks like I forgot to choose by attribute before hitting the uh, click chosen. So we'll do enter text sign in. Okay. And then it'll click chosen and now this should work. Click. So we'll log in. Fills it in automatically. Clicks on that. Now it's logged in. And now, now I'll stop it. And you can see where did it go? Okay, now it's got us logged in. So you can see uh, every time you come to the main Twitter page, which is why we just load Twitter.com. After we're logged in, it'll show you this little "What's Happening" box. So we're going to use this and uh, fill it in with one of our tweets from our list. So. What we want to do now is try to select this box. So we're going to say choose by attribute. And you'll see there's not really a lot of uh, any, any attributes to really identify it by. You got this text area. That might work. Um, you could say text area alone, but there's a chance there could be another text area on the page. So what I found work is, works is just using the uh, call attribute uh, number of columns. Uh, it's the only one on the page with 20. So that works. We'll use that. Uh, where did I just put it? Had the wrong area selected there, so we'll just slide that down. So it navigates to Twitter, uh, and then it's going to select from here. And then next thing we can do is determine whether or not this is going to be a randomized uh, tweet or one sequentially from the file. So to do that we'll put a, an if statement in here. We'll say if and qualifier placeholder will go to qualifiers and we'll tell it to evaluate and we'll put a variable in there. The randomized or not. Put that in there and then if that's equal to true we'll do something. Otherwise it's going to be false. So if it is true, what we're going to do is uh, first we need to set the, a random tweet. So we need to set a another variable. Let's say set, and we'll say rand. We're just going to create a new one here. We'll say rand tweet, and the content is going to be a random number. So it's going to be a math, and we'll put random, and then it's going to ask us a minimum value. We're going to put one, and then we'll do the list total of what's currently left in, left in the tweets. We'll say variable list total from tweets. So hopefully that makes sense. 